Hello boys and girls, my name is Solarite and in this video I'm going to show you how you can transform an image into a three-dimensional object that you can manipulate or rotate. So first of all we want to make sure that we have a nice background for this animation and therefore we choose toolbox, generators and solid color and we just drag it into our timeline. Uh, maybe it's a nice idea like to make it a bit longer and then we also give it a nice color. So we select it make sure the inspector over here is activated so that you can choose the color here I like orange a lot click on it okay and you get a nice orange background so I also got myself uh, a logo it's a YouTube logo I put it on top remember whatever is on top will be on top of the video as well um, and as you can see it's a transparent background so it looks very nice actually but it's a two-dimensional object that you cannot really manipulate in the way we want to do it of course we could rotate it here that was the wrong one that I've chosen of course Click this one you see but that's not really what we want we want a three-dimensional effect and I'm going to show you how you can do that Okay, so I'm also going to make this a little bit longer so that it matches the background. And what we are going to do is we are going to transform the image now to a 3D object. So we select it and then we choose the tab Fusion. So what happens now is like we have here, we have a media in box and a media out box and whatever will be happening between these two boxes this will be the animation or the transform process of uh, the object uh, that we are using so first of all we want to make a real 3d object out of it so right right click on the background here of the nodes display choose add tool choose 3d and then you choose image plane 3d Sorry. So you get a new box here <coughs> and now you have to connect it. So what you're going to do is you drag from the output node from media in into this one and just to make sure that you actually see what is happening within this box you click it and then you press 1 to display it up here on the display 1 press one again and it will vanish you also could just choose one of these three dots so I choose the first one it's going to be displayed here so what you can see now you have our the images now in inside of this 3d uh, panel structure thing and you also see that you have a timeline here so on this timeline we are going to set two different keys and we're gonna <coughs> edit the transform process and to do this we select it and then here make sure again the inspector is open we choose the third tab the transform tab and now you see you have a lot of controls here so what we want to use is the rotation and this axis so then we, we make sure that we are at the very beginning of the timeline like frame zero and then we make a keyframe then we move all the way back get in here and then let's say we want two rotations so that would be 720 degrees uh, <coughs> that's about it and now if you move it you can see uh, what's happening within the 3D window but we are still on a 3D object now and that's not an object where Da Vinci can really work with in, in our video timeline so we have somehow transform it we have to transform it back so again click on the background add tool go down to 3D and then choose the renderer 
or is it render a 3D? Uh, so we have it here. <coughs> then you connect these two nodes. You can click this and select two for instance. So you have it here on the second screen. And now we have to get rid of this line because we are going over these two nodes. Press it, it will vanish and then put it back on here. So, now this is what's going to happen. If we stop it now and go back onto the edit tab, very back, start it and we have a nice rotating image. So this is not very, very complicated. If, if you have questions about it, ask me. <coughs> and if you like this channel, consider to subscribe. It would help me a lot. Thank you very much, guys, and goodbye.